This minimal motion graphics animation is done entirely using After Effects, so let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. Let's create our background, so right click new, let's add a solid and I'm going to make this one a little bit off white, something like that, just click on OK. Perfect. Now we are ready to add a circle. So for that, let's select the shape tool. Let's select the ellipse and I'm going to draw a small circle, something like that. Also, I'm going to align it to the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. So now the anchor point is in the center. Let's quickly animate this by pressing P. Let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, I'm going to like make this down below. So somewhere around here. Let's move like a little bit ahead, something like that. Now we can like move this up. So we basically want it to be something around here. And after that, we can like move a little bit up and we can like place it in the middle where we started. So we can select everything, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now, if a graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's select everything. And I'm going to change the graph to look something like this. So in the beginning, we want this to be very fast. Let's change it to like that. Perfect. Now, if I play, you can see we have this ball and it comes in and it goes to its position. Now we don't want to like move it after that. So we can like trim this layer to this point. Now we will break this ball into like smaller balls. So for that, we can select this, press control D. Now we can select this layer, press P and I'm going to like remove all the position keyframes because we don't want them. Instead, we can like simply extend this. Perfect. Now we want the these balls to like move away from the center point. But how much we want, we can like decide that by simply creating some circles around it. So let's select the ellipse tool again. And on this one, we don't want any fill. And I'm going to like increase the stroke so you can just pick whatever color you want. Let's just increase it to like nine just to see what we are doing. So let's just draw a circle so you can hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle. Let's align it to the center. Now we can select this and let's search for size parameter. And I'm going to like set this one to like 300. Let's duplicate this. And the next one we can set this to like 600. Let's duplicate this now 900 and let's duplicate this once again and I'm going to set this one to like 1200 so now we have like these many circles but again it's completely up to you you can like have whatever number of circles you want I'm going to like create these four only now let's select this set the stroke to like something like one because we want these to be like very faded something like that perfect now we can like simply select these balls which we have over here so I can like place this at the top and let's just quickly change this color so that we don't get confused like that now we can zoom in and let's just move everything somewhere around here now we can select this let's add a keyframe for its position now let's move like a little bit ahead and we can like start moving these balls ahead so let's just move it to somewhere around here we basically want this to be like onto this line so for that we can like select this press t let's slow down its opacity so now we can like just move this anchor point to this like that now we can select this layer let's press u we have this keyframe let's press ctrl d let's move the other ball or the circle to like little bit ahead onto this line now let's select this press ctrl d now let's move this one onto the other one we are basically moving these to all of these individual layers so we have one over there which we can like move later on or we can like simply duplicate this this one we can move it to the side so let's just set this to 960 by 540 so now we can like move it to the side because we are not able to see it from the top somewhere around here perfect so here we have all of these circles now we have created the position keyframes now we can select everything and press f9 to ease them so now they will like move away Perfect, but we don't want them to like move on to these points. We want them to like randomly move here and there. So we can do that later on. But first, let's animate these as well. So now we can select all of these and let's just simply select one of these. And I'm going to add a trim path. So right click, let's add a trim path and let's go over here and add a keyframe for the end property. And I'm going to set this to zero. Let's move it to this point and I'm going to like set this to 100. Now we can copy this trim path 
and just go to the beginning and we can select all of these layers which we have over here and just paste it like this now if i press play you can see all of these circles will start animating perfect now we don't want the animation to like start over here we can like move these keyframes ahead just select them and let's move them like really far away so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now we want these circles to like move around onto these lines so for that we can like simply add some null objects for each of these circles so let's add null object for all of them so right click new let's add a null object and let's just animate it so let's add a keyframe for its rotation now let's just move like a little bit ahead and i'm going to like set this to one because we want one complete full rotation let's select the keyframes press f9 now we can like duplicate this and like place it onto all of these layers one after other let's duplicate this and let's place it over here now we can parent all of these layers to this null which is at their top so just parent it to this one and let's parent it to this one we can parent this one to this perfect so now you will notice that all of these circles will start animating but we can like control their rotation so let's select everything press u let's select the keyframes and let's just move them far away now we can select these as well press u and we can like match these keyframes to each other because both of these rotations are similar so if I select these, press F9, now you will notice that all of these circle will move on to these lines and we can probably like have a little bit of gap. Also, we can select the keyframes. Let's go to the graph editor and I'm going to like change it to look something like that. Like this. Now, if I press play. You can see we have all of these animating. Perfect. Let's make these like back to full opacity. So let's select them plus T and let's just make them 100. Perfect. Now we want these circles to be like randomly placed here and there instead of like in this straight line. So this we can easily fix by simply creating a null object. So right click, let's add a null object and I'm going to quickly change its color. So let's just make this yellow. Perfect. Now we are going to like select all of these null objects which are controlling these circles and this bigger one and let's parent it to this null so let's just quickly do that one by one so we have this circle and i'm going to select its null let's parent it to this null too now i'm going to like select this circle which is this one and let's parent it to the null too as well now let's go to this point and we can like press r and let's just rotate them so you can see that it will rotate this smaller circle and the outer line as well now once you're happy with this we can like remove their null so you can like set this to none and after that we can set this null to to none as well perfect now in the same way we can like select all the other layers so let's pick this one which is this and we can like select its null let's parent it to this null and let's select its corresponding circle which is this one and let's parent it to the null two as well now again we can rotate it so let's pick a point and let's just rotate it to somewhere around here yeah i think this looks good perfect now we can again like set these to null or none and let's set this to none as well now let's select the other one which is this one we can like probably select this and let's parent it's null let's select its corresponding outer line which is this one and let's parent it to the null as well now we can rotate it and i'm going to like place this one somewhere around here yeah i think this looks good now we can get rid of this null because the final one we i think that it's at its good position now you will notice that its line is like starting from here but the circle is moving from here we can easily fix that by simply selecting that circle which is this one and we can like open it up and let's go under the transform property you can see we have this offset so we can just simply move it wherever we have this let me just quickly increase the stroke so you will notice you can see that it is starting from here and we can like move its point so somewhere around here we can move it now you will notice that it will move with the circle perfect 
Now, once you're happy with this, we can set this back to one. Now we can animate the scales of these circles as well. So for that, we can select these circles and let's just quickly preview our animations. So we have these circles and then they will go away for that. We can again, let's go and play around with the position. So let's go to the graph editor and let's change it to look something like that. So we have these and after that we can like have them start rotating. So let's press R or we can select these nulls. Let's press R and let's just move the keyframes over here. In the same way we can select these. Let's press U and we can move their keyframes to this point as well. Now you can see that all of these will like start rotating. Probably have this one missed and let's just place it over here as well. Perfect. So now all of these are moving and we can like start animating their size as well to like make them smaller. Now let's press S for scale. Let's add keyframes. Now let's press, let's select this, press U and somewhere around here. Let's just move the circles over here and we are going to like set the scale to zero for all of these. Perfect. Now you can see that these will disappear as they are moving around. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to add our text. So for that, you can select the text tool and let's just type motion graphics. Again, it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. Let's just place it in the middle. And I'm using this monster or black font. It's completely up to you. You can pick whatever you want. So in order to animate this, let's just quickly scale this up something like that. Let's pick a point something around here we are going to add for this one we are going to animate its tracking so let's add tracking and over here we can see we have this tracking amount so let's add a keyframe and i'm going to like simply select this press cu we are basically going to animate the tracking with respect to their position so in the beginning we can like set it to somewhere around here so that all of these characters are like very condensed and after that we can move to this point where we have all of these characters like move apart something like that or maybe a little bit less perfect yeah, i think this looks good nice now we can select these press f9 let's change the value and i'm going to set this to like that perfect now we don't want to see the text in the beginning so we can like trim this out now we can rotate this with the other text as well so let's go to this point and let's add keyframes. Let's move it to this point. Now in the beginning, we can like rotate it randomly. So let's just rotate it something like that. Now we can duplicate this and let's rotate one more copy over here. Now let's duplicate once again and let's rotate one random copy over here as well. Now you can see we have all of these different copies and they will rotate to make something like that. Now, if you want, you can have more copies, but I think three will be good for this one. Now you will notice one more thing that this is way too cluttery. So what we are going to do is we are basically going to mask out a couple of characters from all of these layers. So let me just quickly show you. So let's select the rectangle tool and I'm going to select this mask and let's just solo this layer. And on this layer, we are going to like only see a couple of these points. So let's add a mask for M. And after that, let's just add a mask for, let's just add mask somewhere around here. So let's just keep it for this one like that. So we have these two letters from here and let's select the other layer and let's just enable, enable it. Now let's select the mask and for this one, we can probably have, let's select the pen tool and I'm going to create a mask for this O and T like that now we have ot from here mhi from this one and let's just draw a rough mask and just simply enable a couple of these letters so let's just enable cs we already have i over here like that so you can see that all of these characters will like start moving and they will form this now we have two characters from this as well now let's select this and let's enable this one now on this one we can have gr and let's create one over here which where we have on 
now if you have like some difficulties with not seeing not able to see this then you can like simply go inside and set the mask to none now you can easily like mask out whatever characters you want so let's mask out o and n like that now again let's set this to add now let's go over here you can see we have mot now we have like couple of these characters left now we can have one more layer to like reveal all of these characters which are remaining so for that we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's just select this and we can probably delete these two masks or we can like simply select these masks so let's select this one and double click and i'm going to like move it over here and let's select this mask double click and we can like move it to this point so that only eye is visible we can get rid of these points let's just move them closer perfect now let's select r and in the beginning i'm going to like rotate it like that now we can undo the solo so you can see we have created this sort of animation perfect now once you're happy with this we can select these press u let's press r and let's select the keyframes press f9 let's select this let's go to the graph and let's just change it to look something like that now if i press play you can see we have these coming in perfect now at last we want all of these circles to like move away or fade away for that we can like simply select this and let's search for stroke let's add a keyframe now we can pick a point where we want these to disappear so let's just add a keyframe somewhere around here now let's move something around this one and let's just set this to zero now we can select these keyframes press f9 now we can select this these keyframes just copy them let's select all of these layers and let's search for stroke width and after that you can like just simply paste by selecting them just paste them one by one perfect now we have done everything so if i press play you can see we have this ball then it goes away and then we have all these characters coming up perfect now at last you can like have some shadows onto this to really enhance this look so for that we can select all of these layers right click let's pre-compose let's call this one animation just click on ok now i'm going to duplicate this layer and on the bottom one we are going to apply cc radial blur let's drag it onto this one change this to fading zoom and i'm going to set the amount to something like 25 now we have the center now you can like place it wherever you want so i'm going to like place it somewhere around here now we can select this layer press t you can see that it will have like a little bit too harsh of this let's press t opacity and we can like drop it down to something like this now if i press play you can see we have this ball and we have all the other animations already applied perfect so this is how you can create these kind of minimal circle animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one